Welcome to the Excel tip video from Excel and Cat. My name is Ajay Anand. In the previous video, I have explained a simple technique to unstack data from different rows to different columns. Even if that method is one of my all time favorites, that method cannot handle addition or deletion of data. I mean, that method is not dynamic. So, in this video, I will explain a single formula, a dynamic array formula that can be used to unstack data from a column to different columns. And also, this method can handle addition or deletion of data. So, to unstack data from these rows to these columns here, equal index function, open parenthesis, first argument of index function is array. Select the cells containing data, comma, second argument row number. Here we will use sequence function, sequence. First argument of sequence function is rows. For the number of rows, otherwise the count of elements of this array, count a function, open parenthesis, select the cells containing data, close parenthesis, comma, second argument of sequence function is columns. Here we need data in four different columns. So either we can hard code this value four here or use a formula to produce this value. I will go for the second option. Count a function. Open parenthesis. Select the column headers. Close parenthesis. Close parenthesis for sequence function. Close parenthesis for index function. And when I press the enter key, the data in these rows have been unstacked to these columns here. And at the same time, the blank rows are returning reference error. So to get rid of this reference error, I will use if error function. If error, the existing formula will become the first part of if error function, comma, second argument value if error double quotes, double quotes, close parenthesis and press the enter key. See reference error is gone. Now about addition or deletion of data. If you are expecting addition or deletion of data, convert this data range into an excel table. Let me show you how to do that. Same data set. To convert this data set into an excel table, select the data, insert, table, create table, ok. The data range has been converted into an excel table, table 1. Now to unstack this data into different columns, equal if error function, index function, select the data, comma, sequence function, count a function, open parenthesis, select the cells containing data, close parenthesis, comma, count a function, open parenthesis, select the column headers, close parenthesis, close parenthesis for sequence function, close parenthesis for index function, comma, value if error, double quotes, double quotes, close parenthesis, and when I press the enter key, we have unstacked the data into different columns. Now let me add some data here. Right click, copy, right click, paste. See the formula has been updated for the addition of data. So that is how we can use dynamic array formula for unstacking data. In the next video, I will explain how to use power query for the same requirement. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and wish you a great day.